Okay, this is a tutorial to show you how to make the InMove Finger Starter um, work with uh, my robot lab. So, first uh, get into download on the uh, website of my robot lab. You go directly on download. You get um, a page and uh, you get the download latest release. This is opening another page. Search for the um, latest zip file over here and uh, launch the download. All right. So now that it's uh, downloaded, go um, and unzip the file. Unzip it into uh, your hard drive into C. Create, it's going to create a, a directory called My Robot Lab. Now open uh, your hard drive and you see there's uh, here a directory called My Robot Lab. Open it and inside I have uh, all the downloads I did. So I have all the latest release but you will get only one so open that one and uh, you can launch the my robot lab one batch okay so this is going to open my robot lab now you will see here over here there's the inmove service so you need to install it's going to open another window and um, barely can see my mouse launch so it's opening all the files normally it's downloading everything like uh, open cv and all the rest that is uh, necessary to control uh, the service this might take some time because uh, it's downloading many um, many services for um, for InMove. Okay, here it's completed. So click yes, and it's gonna restart uh, my robot lab. Okay, now you can see you've got a whole bunch of services that are activated that are installed, and um, all the green one. Uh, can be working with in move now I will show you what you need to get next you get um, back onto the website of my robot lab <clears throat> getting on uh, the home page on the home page there's the service so you click here it's going to open the page on my robot lab. This gives you all the info that uh, you kind of need for to install, like make sure that all the pins are connected like this, like pin two is for the thumb, pin three is for the index and so on. Now copy paste. So we're going to copy this this um, Python script all right make sure um, you've got really the the script all the way to the end copied and not extra things or anything okay now that it's uh, copied you go back on my robot lab <clears throat> you open the Python tab and you paste the script all right so get on the top of the script and you will see over here it says uno or com so you need to put over here the right board that you have and the right com for to be sure of this what you need to do is I will show you in a minute 
Okay, what you need to do, you get on um, Start, Computer, right click, go on Properties. This is going to open uh, the control panel and uh, you go on Device Manager. And in Device Manager, you search for the COM ports. So this is the COM ports. Open it, right click on the Arduino and search for properties. Now this is opening another window and look for, um, you're going to see here, uh, you're going to see your COM. So remember this number, open the port settings and make sure you've got 57600 over here. When all this is all right, click OK and close the window. Go back on my robot lab. So we are back on the, on my robot lab to make it work. Um, you go into runtime, open it, select Arduino, right click, start, put a name, I will put Arduino, all right, okay, okay, this is uh, making a new tab on the top over here called Arduino, go into tools, Sel make sure that your board is correctly selected, my card, my board is Arduino Uno, and then serial device is 13. All right, at this point, upload this script onto your Arduino. So click Upload. When the green line on the bottom is finished, you're ready to go. Now, go back over here into Arduino, right click and release. And you are going back into your uh, copy paste script. All right. So you have to get onto um, the com. You remember your com and your board. So you change all that to what you need. My com is 13, so I'm going to change it to 13. And this is ready. So Going down on the script, you can see different uh, voice commands. There is rest, open hand, close hand, manual, and voice control. Each one of these, um, if you're going to say one of them, it's going to control the hand. So open hand is going to open the hand, of course. Close hand is going to close it. Manual is going to stop the computer from listening and voice control is going to start the computer to listen again so now we are ready to launch or execute my robot lab so i'm going up here into execute i click it's going to open many tabs starting system check testing Right, aren't you? No. It's not valid. Did not get response from aren't you? No. Right hand. System check completed. Manual. You said manual. Voice control. You said voice control. Close hand. Said close hand. Open hand. Said open hand. Close hand. Said close hand. Open hand. Said open hand. Manual. You said manual. So now it's locked. All right. Uh, going into the tab 
index so if you get into index tab you will see that um, your um, servo is attached to pin 3 normally if you respected um, the whole setup and um, you should be able to to move it by hand see if I move it by hand I can move with my slider So this is handy for to learn things, you know, to see different positions. All right. And going back into voice control. Voice control. Close hand. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my accent is not so good, so he doesn't understand what I say. Oh. You said voice control. Mm -hmm. Open hand. Open hand. Perfect.